Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new infinite money glitch that does not involve duplication. Rather, it's going to be some inventory manipulation. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, turn on those notifications. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to answer them within the first hour or two. Let's now discuss a few requirements. What you want to do is make sure that you finish up Regina Jones' quest specifically her gigs yes i know her name's regina it's not regina i thought it was yet if you look at the pronunciation it is actually regina really weird really weird anyways what we want to do is complete the last few gigs for her for example my last gig is going to be the concrete cage trap if yours is something different, do not worry, just complete it, and then what you will want to do is open up the map. You will want to locate the fixer icon, hover over it, and if it is Jones, then you will see that it will say 22 out of 23, or possibly you may have already completed all of her gigs, and it should say 23 out of 23. For example, in this clip, I am 22 out of 23 quest, that is until I complete the concrete trap quest right now. What I will receive is a message or a call from Jones. What she will say is pretty typical. It's like, hey, you know, congratulations on the mission or the gig. Thank you, contract close and all that crap, right? What you wanna do from there is pause the game and fast forward time 24 hours. The reason why we are going to be doing this is so that we can then get another message from Jones and what it should consist of is last call uh, right there on the left side. Now, what you will also see is a message from Jones. So if you go to your journal and then go above it, which says messages, and then we scroll all the way down, we are going to find Jones. Now, I have quite a few messages here that I've yet to read. So what you were looking for is just Jones dash messages. Then if you look right here, it's going to explain that, you know, hey, I have pretty much done giving you contracts. What I do have for you is an item within your stash. Make sure you visit your apartment and check it out. Then that's exactly what we are going to be doing. So we'll pause the map. We will look for V's apartment, which is located right here on the bottom left. And we are going to then choose this apartment. Fast travel there. And then once you are here, you can then travel towards the top portion of the apartment. We are going to go towards the right and we are going to travel directly towards V's apartment. As you make your way there, you are going to then go into the stash. We are going to interact with it. And what you will notice is that there's an item there with an icon, specifically the exclamation mark. What this typically means is that it's either a undeletable item or what it is, is a story item. It is pretty much an item that is given to you that you cannot sell. Yet, what we can do is head over towards the Second Amendment because I'm going to show you something interesting. As you make your way there and you go into your inventory, you will try to sell this item. Yet, what you will notice is that in your cyberware, it is nowhere to be found. This is quite interesting. So, what do we have to do instead? Well, if we pause the map and we open up the map, we can go towards the left side change it to filter it out and we are going to look for a ripper dock specifically there are a few nearby so i'm going to go visit victor let's go visit vic and let's go down open up the door open up this door and then let's interact and choose the first option we are going to then go to the nervous system which is located right here and you will notice that there is an icon above this we are going to click the z button which is going to allow you to sell it what you will notice is that the item remains there. Now, if you do this too fast, you may accidentally equip it, which is not bad at all because what you can do is unequip it or equip an item to it, and this will then bring it back towards the inventory. You can then hit the Z button to sell, and then you can constantly do this until you are maxed out. What you will want to do, because eventually the vendor cap will go down, you can then pause the game, set the time forward about 24 hours, so that the vendor is officially reset. You can then sell some more items or specifically the item that is in our inventory. And what's great about this is that you get to keep the item. It does not go away. You can sell this as much as you want. And hey, this might be a better option for you if you are just tired of duplicating. I highly recommend giving this a go. Remember that you do need the last call, which is something that you receive from Jones. 
and remember that's just a message stating that you have finished up the rest of her quest and that is when you can then find that item in your stash. Resell it a bunch of times and enjoy that stuff guys. If you would like to check out my previous videos where I went over a few other different glitches such as the hypercritical, duplication, etc. Even a great way to level up your athletics check that out now with all that information to the side i just want to say i hope that you all are doing great thank you to everyone that is currently subscribed and is a member and with that i will see you all on the next video